we're going to make um, short pastry today. So I'm going to show you how. So this is the pastry made in the earlier video and it's been chilling in the fridge for half an hour and then, um, yep, take it out. So we're going to dust the bench with flour and just roll it out. Um, I keep moving the pastry. It's The key with pastry is it always has to be free underneath. So free to move about the bench. I'm just going to roll it a bit bigger than the actual tin. See, always make sure it moves around on the bench, and that way you won't get it um, um, you won't get it shrinking in the tin. Now I've got quite a lot of pastry here. It's probably way too so much for that. <laughs> How big's your tin? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, that should be right. You put a top on it. <laughs> okay, so pretty much we're going to, so just make sure it's still free on the bench. So you just want it to be able to move it, move it around. Okay, and then we're going to put our tart on. Now to cut it bit bigger than what size the tin is. Pick it up, put it into the tin. And then this is really important, so when you put the pastry in the tin, make sure, oh, I've greased the tin first too. When you make sure, when you put it in, so you're kind of pushing it into the corner. So as nice, you don't want to stretch it at all. So I push it into the corner of the tin, like that. Yeah, it's the stretching it. If you stretch the pastry, that's what's going to make it shrink as well, back from the sides, so like that. Get your rolling pin. Cut the excess off, just with using the rim on, on the tin. And the other thing I do is just go around with your thumb and forefinger. So you're sort of attaching it to the edge. And it just gives you a really nice finish. So there we go, all done. And then we're just going to put that in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes to let it rest.